All right, we are live. What's going on? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another edition of Wisdom Wednesday. My name is Big Stu, Scott Stewart, Professor Stewart. It really depends on how you know me. I am the co-host of the Money, Sex, Gen X podcast, and I am joined this morning by the host, the Scotty Pippin podcast, Pimpin. To e money, Eric McLoy, E Mac himself. What's that going on, E money? Yeah, that is me. How you doing this morning, brother? And I am well. I'm ready to get it rocking and rolling right. on this hump day, on this Wisdom Wednesday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's do it. You got a big day. You got a big day uh, planned for today. I have a bigger day than I would like planned. Okay. For so yeah, yeah. Well, I let's go not- to the, the dentist and all kind of crazy. Oh stuff. man, you got stuff to do. Well, let, let's let's get into it, man. You know. We are here. We've created this particular platform, talking to all our all of our millennial uh, followers. We got a, a strong millennial base, yes. and, and they have communicated to us. They like what we have to offer, and they want more. They like our tips. As a matter of fact, the suggestion for Wednesday, Wisdom Wednesday, comes from a devout millennial follower. Okay. And um, it's been pretty good. It's been received pretty good so far. So we're going to keep going with the same energy. Today's Wednesday, Wednesday uh, Wisdom Wednesday is three ways to take care of your health. Now, let me preface this, E. I'm not about to act like I'm some health guru, health trainer, or anything like that. But I felt comfortable giving these three because at least I know what to do. Okay. But whether or not I do it, don't judge me. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> and guess what? I'm in the same boat, man. You're I'm, in the same boat? Yeah, man. I'm, I know what to do, but I'm not really doing it. So it's okay. okay. All right. And we and we had a topic on this last season, season three. Uh, why don't we eat better? Why don't we take better care of ourselves? Or, or, yeah, we did do something around that. Yes, we did. Yep. All right. All right, so we're going to get into it. And any, if anyone wants to follow us, please feel free to go to Money Sex Gen X Podcast.com. I got it typed in there wrong. It's Money Sex Gen X Podcast.com. Money Sex Gen X Podcast.com. Please feel free to go check us out. All right, here we go. Three ways to take care of your health and you know we go in reverse order we're gonna start with number three okay the number three way e work out work out work work out yeah easier said than done ain't it yes it is it is it is now when i say work out go for a walk you know you can do some stuff in your house you should really get moving minimum 15 minutes a day right Get moving. Uh, now, do you work out, E? I'm off and on with the workouts, man. I, I'm really, uh, I'm in a space right now where my body does not look how, how I really want it to look and really how it normally looks. I fell all the way off. Oh. But what I am doing, because I've learned to highlight the positive, what I do every day, Stu, and you notice I take my little nature walk. Yes. And then I bought a mountain bike last weekend. I've been riding that every other day. So I am doing those. Yeah, so that's a workout. That's a workout. I um, just got back in the gym about two months ago. And maybe I'm coming up on two months now after having not been in the gym since 2020, since right. February of 20, March of 2020 was the last time I was in the gym. And uh, I did work out at home a little bit from the pandemic, did a couple of challenges. Um, I'm off and on, too. But I do know if you want to take better care of your health, work out, move your body, do some cardio, do some strength training. Yeah. You know, that's the number one way that you can take better care of yourself, of your health, is to work out. Number three. That's the three. We're going in reverse order. All right. All right. All right. Number two way, E, take vitamins and detox. Big one. Big one. Take vitamins and detox. So I do take a vitamin. I I do take a multivitamin. Are you taking yours? Taking a multi? I'm, um, you know, I'm not consistent. Now, my lady 
does some stuff with TLC. She sells some detox teas and some Nutriburst, some vitamin, liquid vitamins. And I actually have bought some B12 from her and I got some sea moss. Now, I know sea moss is not a vitamin. Yeah. And it's not a detox either, but no. I try to get some supplements up in me. I, I, I know I should. So I'm trying to be better about that. But the other piece is this detox thing. Now, science says, Eric, <clears throat> and you know, you're an actual factual dude. So I know you're going to go do your research if you haven't. Science says you should be putting out whatever you put in. <clears throat> So after every meal, you should be putting it out. And if you're going more than a day, first of all, if you're not putting it out at that rate, then you got you got to detox. Now, Stu, what do you mean when you say put it out? <laughs> uh, move, you your like move, your, off? move your bowels. Move your Okay, I got you. I got move you. your oh, okay. bowels. So you want to, So you're saying? I mean, I always forget this. Is like so you're yeah. bringing the food into your body, your vessel. Gotta go out. And you yeah. want to push it back out. Okay. Yeah. After every everything. So if you eat three times, three meals a day, you should be having three movements a day. Mm. Yeah. That's and if point. you and so at least once a day, right? Yeah. The yeah. healthiest of the healthiest bodies. Three times, three meals a day, three times. You eat twice a day, two times a day. You eat once a day, once a day. Yeah. But yeah. if you're not doing, if you're not moving your bowels at least once a day, if you're going a day or two, you skipping a day without moving your bowels, you need to detox. True indeed. You know what I learned about the bowel movement situation, especially as I've gotten older? Drinking a lot of spring water. Okay. Will help push that food back out. That was one of the things that I had struggled with. It was being dehydrated. Mm. Just drinking water all throughout the day will help yes. push that stuff out. So yeah, try I to drink as much water as you can. Try to drink spring water, water that doesn't have any added ingredients to it. Okay. All right. There you go, people. Now we do know drinking a lot of water will help to keep those in that intestine loose and your bowels loose. And you are absolutely right. So take your vitamins, detox, and drink water. Half of your body weight in ounces a day is the recommend. Now I'm not look. I'm talking out. The, it probably sound like man, still do I? I don't. I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a work in progress. I'm just giving you some wisdom for this Wednesday. All right. All right. So the number three way was to work out. The number two way is to take your vitamins, detox, drink lots of water. The number one way, Eric. Number one, number one. Number one way. Eat better. Eat better. Eat better. Mm. Eat better. You know, that's easier said than done. <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell you something, man. I want to get your thoughts on this real quick. Like, I, The older I get, the harder it's gotten to eat properly. Wow. I have, I have, I'm struggling. I found myself at Wendy's yesterday. I'm like, man, what are you doing? Like, this, ah. is, this is not good. So do you find that you've struggled to eat better more as you've gotten older or has it been consistent? No, actually, man, for me, my truth is the opposite. I'm eating better now mm. than I've ever ate before. So I don't do a lot of fast food. Now, okay. let me, let me okay. now, 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 I do a lot of Uber Eats. We do. A ton of Uber Eats. I I need to go. I don't even think I own any Uber stock. I need to eat. I need to I, I eat so much Uber Eats, right? But I'm trying. Like I just yesterday, we got some. Got some. I got some jerk jerk catfish, and some, <laughs> and, some and some cabbage, and okay. some rice and beans, right? But that's that's kind of fast food. But it's not the traditional junk food. I try to justify to make myself feel better. Right? <laughs> Yeah, but you know, it's not Wendy's. It's not Wendy's, but <laughs> it, it might be Barocco's barbecue chicken or yeah. you know, some KFC. You know, I'm trying to justify that it's seafood and chicken, and and I get the little vegetables. And hey, I'm not so bad. I don't. Yeah, I'm not right. the worst. You know, but you go. okay. Vegetables, right? Lots of vegetables. Get some fruits, natural fruits, mm -hmm. right? Get those vegetables in you. And then, you know, just try to, you know, watch the calorie intake. You know? 
try to eat better. Try to eat better. Eat better. That's. I mean, if you want to take better care of your health, eat better. Get your vitamins, detox, drink plenty of water, and work out. And you will be markedly healthier. Now, Stu, for the people out there that are watching this that might want to push back and be like, man, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get money. Like, I don't care nothing about any of what you talk about. Like, why should I care about working out, taking oh. vitamins, or eating better when my goal is to get money? Look, it's nah. my career. Yeah. I've my my observational research has shown me that health and success are one and are tied together. I've I've witnessed and experienced seeing highly successful people who prioritize their health, right? Um, you want to be able to move swiftly. You want to be able to move through airports and up and down hallways and in and out of banks uh, without being labored or without being tired. And if you prioritize your health, I think it also has something to do with your mental, where you think a little clearer, maybe you'll make some better decisions. Um, because you got your, you know, you got your blood rate, your, your heart rate up and your blood flowing. What are your thoughts, Eric? Yeah, I like all of those things. I w- I'll say this to everybody out there because I know some people out there that thought like I did. If you're really about getting money, think about it like this. If you get sick, it's going to cost you money. Dang. And somebody, I know somebody's out there like, well, I have insurance. Well, you know, you got those co-pays. And yeah, and when you start getting really, really sick and diabetes and all that stuff, it can get really, really costly it sure and can. take away from all of that money that you're trying to earn right now. So it sure can. It think sure about can. that. Well, look, man, it is Wisdom Wednesday, man. We dropped three jewels, three ways to take care of your health. Number three, go work out. Number two, get your vitamins, get your your detox, get your plenty of water. I'm gonna go get me. A, I'm gonna I'm gonna be really on top of this. And number one, eat better. I didn't say eat healthier. Better. I'm not gonna put any stress on you. Eat better. Yeah, it's a process. Eat better. Just walk, ease into eating better today than you did yesterday. And then keep building on just eat better. No, you can't unhear it. You didn't heard it now. You can't unhear it. Yeah, man. That'd be a nice t-shirt, Stu. Ease into eating better. Okay, well then let's bring it. We're gonna we're gonna drop it. We're gonna drop it on by Sunday. We'll have that shirt available on the website. All right. All Ease right. into eating better. There you go. There you go. New new product, new product alert coming. Check us out at MoneySexGenXPodcast.com. Everywhere, MoneySexGenX. YouTube, Facebook, Buzzsprout, all the streaming channels. Check us out. Season 4, Episode 3, this Sunday, 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Can't wait. Check for us. And you already know what it is, E. Enjoy your day. Until next time, my brother. Peace. Peace.